Welcome friends, I'm Meredith and today we are going to unbag my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of November 2020. Yes, it has finally arrived <laughs> due to uh, late shipping out of the warehouse and then delays in shipping, you know all the stuff going on. Um, this is quite late for the month, but I'm still going to unpack it and share it with you guys. So let's dig into this. Let me know, are you still waiting on your bag or have you already gotten yours? If you did, what did you get? Do you like it? And did we get some of the same items? I'd love to hear it in the comments below. All right, I did do uh, a couple of add-ons as well, so I'll share those with you. But one of the things that I got is from Murad. Let's see if I can find a card, actually. It might be in there somewhere. It is. And actually, I suppose I could pull out the bag as well. Man, you'd think I'd never unbox something before. Okay, so this on one side, it's solid navy, and this is what it looks like on the other side. And let's grab my card out here. And the theme for the month is Be Present. And this one does not have any information. I think my glam bag did, so sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. All right, so the first thing I got is the Murad Resurgence uh, Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. Now this is something that I did pick, so let's go ahead and pull this out. And it says you're supposed to have results after four weeks of use. So here is what it actually looks like. Hopefully <laughs> the glare is not too bad on it since this is rather shiny packaging and it does look like it has one of those pump dispensers where you push down and it dispenses just hopefully the right amount of product. So I have used a number of Murad products and for the most part I've liked just about every single one of them that I have tried. So I'm hoping this is really good. So let me know if any of you guys have tried this and if you liked it. Now this is a 1.7 ounce container. So I'm excited. I'm actually getting low on my night cream. So that is perfect timing. Next up, this is one of the items that they chose for me. This is from Complex Culture, which I believe is an Ipsy brand. This is the Full Time Eyeshadow Palette. It says it's silky, blendable shades curated for work and play. Now, let's see what this looks like. Have any of you guys gotten a chance to play with this eyeshadow palette yet? Did you get it? And if so, how's the formula? I'm very curious. Okay, so it was well packaged. It does have a really nice sleek design to it, which I appreciate. Oh, and there's actually like a little bit of a gold rim here as well. So very nice. Points for packaging. It's got a full size mirror. There you are. And it does actually like have some little directions on the uh, packaging, which I'm actually going to use to cover up the mirror here. So here are what the shades look like. Quite pretty, lots of nice, soft, neutral tones. We've got some um, pretty mauve shades here. These ones actually, okay, so these ones are a little bit of a more on the dusty mauve side. These are a little more rosy toned, and then in the middle, I would say it has more of like a reddish orange undertone to the color scheme. So they're all nice and soft. Uh, to be honest, there isn't any shade that's particularly deep in tone. So I feel like if you are medium to fair, you might really like this, but if you have a darker skin tone, I feel like they didn't give you a whole lot of options. So hopefully there's more than one of these um, palettes. I'm actually gonna go ahead, I'm not sure. I do have a ton of more neutral shades because that's just what I tend to gravitate toward. So this is actually a really great choice for me, but I'm gonna look through and see if it's similar to some of my other palettes. If it is, I'm gonna set this aside for a giveaway because I do think it's a very nice palette. Um, and I will be doing a holiday giveaway coming up, so make sure you're subscribed for that. So I'm just gonna package this all back up in a minute. I'll set it off to the side because you don't need to watch me do that. Rather boring. Next up, is something I got to choose. And this is why I'm not wearing any lip products today. Um, this is the Ofra Lip Gloss in the shade Natural. So here is what it looks like. It definitely is very shimmery. And it looks like it's got some flecks of gold in there and a really light uh, pink sort of tone to the gloss. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. So it's a regular doe foot applicator. It's actually a little on the small side, I think. But let's test it. Oh yeah, that is super light. Okay, so for me, 
personally. I don't think this is one that I would probably wear on its own. I could absolutely use it to top a lipstick or wear with a lip liner, but just because my natural lip color is so pale, this is, I would say, probably not quite enough tone for me. It seemed a little darker in the pictures online, which is why I chose it, um, but that's okay. I will either keep it for myself to top things or I will pass it on to a friend who absolutely loves really sheer uh, glosses. I have one friend in particular that that I just literally just pass all the glosses. She probably has more glosses than she needs now because she hangs around with me too much. Next up, I'm really excited to try this. So this is from Tula Skincare. Um, this is their I Feel Amazing Cooling and Brightening Hydrogel Eye Masks. You get four pairs in here. And I have a friend who absolutely loves Tula Skincare, swears by it. I've tried a few things and I like the brand. And I absolutely love getting eye masks. I don't know about you, but I'm always... <laughs> I'm always trying to look a little more awake <laughs> and a little bit less puffy in the eye area. Um, so these are supposed to be left on for 10 to 20 minutes. It has probiotics and hyaluronic acid, quinoa seed, and green coffee caffeine. Helps to reduce the look of puffiness. Um, and then it also has niacinamide and blueberry, which help to brighten dull appearance of the skin. So I'm super excited to use these. I will definitely be sure to let you know in an upcoming empties video uh, what I think of it. So here's what the individual packages look like. Very <laughs> holographic. Um, but I feel like something like this would be a great stocking stuffer. So if you maybe got these not by choice, you could gift them and it would be a really great option. And then, let's see, I think I have, yeah, one more thing. This is one of their picks for me. This is the Trace Steak mascara and this is the one that has the eyelash curler actually here, let's see if we can pull it up it's in the shade Icelandic black liqueur or lacquer excuse me I think it was cocktail hour around here okay so it actually has the eyelash curler attached to it at the top and then the bottom you can twist this off and it's a mascara I'm gonna leave this sealed because I do have at least two mascaras open right now so I definitely do not want to start the clock on this but I thought that was really interesting. Kind of gimmicky. Have any of you tried it? Does the eyelash curler really work? I would love to know that from you guys. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of eyeshadow like stick crayons that I've gotten from Tristique that I really like. So it's a good brand. Not like way up there, but still pretty solid. And then the two add-ons that I got this time around are the Pearly's Youth Glow Vitamin C CC Cream with SPF 50. It has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, and this is 2.24 uh, ounces. I have used their BB Cream, and I liked it. I did feel like it clung a little bit to dry patches on my face. Um, and so sometimes it was a little bit more visible that way. So I was curious to see if the CC cream was the same way or not. Let me know if you've tried it and if you have liked it. So, and I did get it in the shade Fair, which is absolutely the shade that I need. I need the lightest shade that pretty much every brand out there makes. And then the last thing was, is of course in bubble wrap, hang on, is from Sunday Riley. Okay, so this was, I think one of their $18 add-ons, which is an insanely good price for the A plus retinoid, uh, high dose retinoid serum from Sunday Riley. It has a uh, 6.5% retinol blend of and CoQ10 and honey. So I have used this before. In fact, I actually have a bottle. I can't remember if I added it on or if I got it in an Ipsy bag recently. Um, or maybe it was BoxyCharm. You know, after a while, <laughs> the subscription boxes start to blend together a little bit. <laughs> um, but, I have really liked this. It has not caused any sensitivity and my skin can be somewhat sensitive and prone to redness pretty easily. And this has not caused any irritation for me, which has been great. I have used other retinol products where I have seen a little bit more irritation and a little bit too much redness. If I use it too often, I have not had that problem with this one. So super excited to have a backup to one, the one that I have, especially for such a great price. So let me know, do you use a retinol or a retinoid? What do you use? Do you like it? All the things I wanna hear. So all in all, I think that this was a really good Ipsy bag. So to recap, I chose the retinol and night cream from Murad 
closing the box back up so it looks pretty on camera. So I chose that. I also chose the eye patches. I was really excited to see this as an option. I think that was an excellent one. The lip gloss, also Ofra, pretty good brand. Excited for that. So I got a lip product, a mascara, as well as a pretty good size nine pan eyeshadow palette. So this, I think, was a really great box. And I thought the add-ons were particularly good this month as well. So do you guys ever add on to your Ipsy bags? Do you tend to do it every single month? I kind of do. I feel like it just, it gets me every time. <laughs> so anyways, I can't wait to hear from you guys as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I will pop up my latest empties video in case you're interested to hear about some of the other products that I have tried from subscription boxes, as well as my Ipsy Glam Bag in case you missed that one for the month of November. I hope you guys have a lovely uh, Thanksgiving holiday with your loved ones, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks, guys.